giving your Sphero the power to predict the future is no small feat. To do this, you will extend many of the skills learned in some of the Block series activities. Click the Program button in the upper right, choose the Blocks program type, name it Fortune Teller, and let's get started. Your Fortune Teller will offer three answers. Yes, no, and maybe. In prior programs, you only created two conditional outcomes. To create a third outcome, you will nest two if-then-else conditions. After learning this skill, you can use it to create endless outcomes in a program, perhaps to create a more intelligent fortune teller that offers more than 20 possible answers. Start in the controls category and add a loop forever block. You will nest all of your logic in this loop. Start by disabling stabilization. Now, add a main LED block and set it to blue to indicate that the program has started and is ready to use. Next, you will create a method to ask the fortune teller a question using an if-then block with the accelerometer sensor, very similar to how you used it in the hot potato program. Go to controls and drag an if-then block. Grab a comparator block, change it to greater than, and drag it into the true field. You want users to shake Sphero to ask a question, so go to sensors and drag an accelerometer sensor to the left side of the comparison. Select the combined axis and change the zero to six. After shaking Sphero once, the fortune teller will start listening and the user can ask any yes, no, or maybe question that they want answered. Now give an audio and visual cue that it's time to ask a question. Drag a play sound block, choose the fairy sound from the effects category, and add a strobe block. Leave the color white, set the period to 0.2 seconds, and the count to 12. The fortune teller also needs to make a prediction, and you'll use a variable to create one. Go to variables, tap create a new variable, name it predictor, and select the number variable type and set the default value to zero. Now drag the variable set block and set it just after the strobe. Continue step two to assign a random value to the predictor variable to represent an answer. Mm -hmm.